Last week, when we were on the air together, that was when Michael Floyd was released. And we were going through the teams that could potentially pick him up. And we didn't get to the Patriots because when I posed the Patriots to you, you said, oh, man, that would be, like, unfair. Yep. And then the next day we find out on that Thursday that the Patriots do get him. Hey, man. I'm, I've been wrong all year. First Trump, now this. You, know, like you, so, can't, you can't win. I can't win. So, so whatever I say, just go against what I say and you'll be right. Well, why do you think that 29 or 30 teams passed on him? Because the Patriots were at the tail end of the first round, the tail end of the selection order based on record. So mm -hmm. I think it was 29 teams that passed him. I think the Patriots were 30th. Why do you think 29 teams passed on a top 15 player? Because they knew how bad this this DUI was? Well, I think they understood. First of all, he had this issue in college. Um, the Patriots get a pass, just like we saw the Giants get a pass when it came to the to the Josh Brown stuff. You know, but nobody ever calls him on it. Well, how do they get a pass? Well, because if anybody else, could you imagine if the Jets had to pick them up? Oh, the circus is coming to town. You know, but, you know, let's, let's start looking at the history of the Patriots. Hernandez turned a blind eye. People knew about bodies, about that stuff when he was in college. You think the Patriots knew that he was... How can you not? Hold on. Is he not from the same... Was he not going around town doing whatever he was doing? You think nobody saw him? Nobody knew who, his affiliation, who he was hanging with? I'm just asking. So they take a blind eye. Yeah, you want to set me up to push me over the edge and you'll say, oh, man, I tried to catch you. It's all good. I know I know the setup I'm now. just playing because I'm just Because I'm, okay. I'm just a guest. <laughs> you know, so, see, I thought we were partners in this thing. You know, you save a partner, but now I see that he's... <laughs> I smell diesel fuel. <laughs> but okay, but anyway, but I don't care. You know, you, know, you, you come in this world by yourself, you're going to go by yourself. You are so, in such good spirits So we're not going to get fired. You know, you, you're like, you know, you want to keep buying them good sweaters so you ain't willing to go to the fence and go to the edge, man. On the line. Patriots. Let's focus well, Okay, here. okay, let's go back. So they had Hernandez. Last year they had a dude come in, and first of all, you got to be on some type of stuff to go to a police, to be a black man and to go to a police station. With no shirt on. Chandler Jones. You got to be on some type of stuff, right? Had that situation. And now they pick up a guy that clearly needs help. Well, they also had Albert Hainsworth, who had road rage incidents. Yeah. And they picked up LeGarrette Blunt two and, years ago. And they picked up Randy Moss. The and, they, and, they, and they pick yeah. up Randy Moss. Yeah. They, they've had a history of that. Corey Dillon had a lot of problems right. in so, Cincinnati. So you can't say they so much rehabilitate these guys because they rehabilitate these guys, then they would have been able to change Hernandez. So we can't use that excuse as well, right? So you don't consider Aaron Hernandez the outlier here that, hey, that was, that guy's like the worst guy that ever played in the NFL. Chandler Jones showed up too, right? He was in, a, he was underneath their care, their tutelage, their, 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 their guidance when yeah. he went to the, hey, what's up? Like, first of all, you don't understand. For a black man <laughs> to go to a police station, he got to be on cloud nine. Guys, I'm really messed up here. Someone help me. He's surprised. They say, oh, no, he got a gun. So, on so, the Patriots, they feel like they can take on, I guess, Michael Floyd because they've taken on problem cases no, before. No, they feel like they won't be questioned. Well, do they also... And they don't care they if also they're going to be questioned. With these because guys, right? at some point, you have to... They didn't, they didn't succeed with Hernandez. They didn't succeed well, with, they went to a Super Bowl with them. Could they not have went without him? And they, and they won a Super Bowl with Chandler Jones. But they turned a blind eye, Right. But, I mean, I'm saying if, if they... If they would have went to the Jets, if he would have went to, to, you know, some of these other places, they would have been under tremendous... The scrutiny. Bengals, the Ravens, yeah, could the you Raiders, imagine? Oh, yeah, could you imagine? We oh, Jerry Jones doesn't boys. care. You know, look at right, what the they Cowboys. said. Look, look what they said about the Cowboys when they had Greg Hardy. Greg Hardy and... Right. Randy Gregory. How, 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 how can they do this? You're right. How can they do this? But they get a pass. Because they think they've won with those guys. Right? I mean, I, that's that's the difference, Bart. I mean, I, I don't yeah, understand. Yeah, 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 you're right. Uh... Jerry Jones didn't win with Michael Irvin, you know, going to town, having a party in the party house. Well, they, yeah, I, no, yeah, they didn't win, so why don't they get that same pass? I do think They won that, with guys that were doing all kind of stuff. Well, the Giants won with LT. LT used to say, knock on the door, while I'll be asleep from the club. Just walk and tell me it's when it's time to go into work. Well, I do think that what we're talking about is like the last 15 years. So okay, the, well, the the Cowboy, well, the, well, the Ravens won with Jamal in his situation, won with Ray Lewis in his situation, but you let him have it went to the Ravens. So you're arguing that the Patriots are unfairly labeled as, like, a good like organization. They're, like they're above having winning criminals. at all costs, right? Right. They're labeled as, oh, the, 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 this is the model um, organization. When you're saying that's garbage. 
It is. Look what they did. They just picked up a guy that had a two point what? Two point one seven. A point two one seven. If he would have sweat and I smelled, I would have got drunk. <laughs> That's, that's how drunk he I was. I believe that's three times the legal legal. I'm limit. surprised he didn't, man. He's surprised he didn't go into a, a alcoholic coma. Well, I guess he was. Well, he, he was asleep was. at the road. He was asleep, and they were banging. The the cops were banging on his window. So the video is now out, and it's startling, certainly, because you've got Michael Floyd at the wheel of a car, sleeping through multiple stoplights that are blinking and then coming back you to lucky. green. How did and he then, keep his foot on a, on a brake? You lucky he didn't roll out into traffic and kill somebody or kill, get killed. The cops are then banging on his window. They're screaming to try to wake him up. He's not getting up. So here's the thing. In Arizona, it might be the toughest state on DUIs because if, thing, remember. if Floyd is convicted of a first offense of a BAC over .20, and he had a .217, it's mandatory jail 45 days. They got the tent city going on out there. Do you remember it's Don intense. McNabb? Yeah. We have the same agent. Don McNabb spent... 60 days, I think, in Tent City in the pink in the pink pajamas. Yeah, it's it's no joke. So they take it seriously. So my question is, do you think this is what scared everybody away? Because when we were talking about it last week, we said, well, a lot of guys get DUIs in this league. He's a top 15 potential draft pick when he, he was drafted. He was a repeat offender. He, he, just set, he just set himself up to blow into his steering wheel for life. Right, but I'm asking you, why do you think that the teams pass on him besides the Patriots? Let's take the Patriots because, out of it. Because the same reason people won't sign Ray Rice. They didn't want to deal with the backlash. They were scared of the public because yeah, but they the knew media, this but video. but the media is scared of Bill Belichick. They're not going to say anything about Bill Belichick? Well, because they can't. Because he won't answer any questions, and he's totally safe for the owner. It don't matter. You can go there. You can press him. You can, you can, you can bring up the history, but people ain't got the marbles for it. Maybe. I think he also no, just going to stonewall you yeah, forever. Don't matter. And you just keep saying it every and, day. But he, then he just keeps going, we're on to Cincinnati or we're on to San Diego or we're on to Miami. Right. Okay, and okay, 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 okay. And you're on to Miami. Is Floyd part of the, the plans because you brought him in here? So you can still continue that. Yo, know, listen, man, you guys don't have kahunas, man. Y'all scared about your career. That's what it is. You're scared he can ruin you. You know what? I worked in Boston, and here's what I would say about that that dynamic I, there might be guys that are scared of having the access to the patriots because they have maybe robert Kraft or jonathan Kraft or somebody the one assistants. of the premier owners in, a, in, in the nfl but, but maybe they want to protect uh, a story here or there right when you they get, want to protect their butt when you get so they doing a, they, they, but they're doing a disservice okay but hear me out so i think there could be some in the boston media that get their to, that get their tips and get their stories from people within the organization but I don't think most of the people that don't question Belichick are worried about their career because they work for independent media. I think what ends up happening is there is no, you don't get anywhere. You could ask him the same question a million times over. You just keep getting the same answer. So what does it matter? Don't matter. That becomes the game. Is it really a game? If, you, if you're if you only there and he's only going to give you the, the answer that you're not looking so, for. So tell me this. When has it ever become a time where the person that you're asking a question gets to decide what the questions are going to be. He does every day because he's got total job security. That's, that's Y'all doing a disservice. And what they're protecting is the future stories the part, if, because they want to get the big stories later to help propel their career. So that's why they don't ask. They don't want They don't want to poke the bear. Some, but not all. Because let's even say we sent you for CBS. I, I can't go. He would never let me in there. Listen, oh, they, they, I, I, I do a financial literacy program. They can't and, keep and, you and, out. I do a financial literacy program for Morgan Stanley. They went to the Patriots. Guess who couldn't come? Bart Scott. Exactly. <laughs> but guess what? I don't, can't... Ca I don't care. Why? Because that's you're an the... enemy of the state there? That's just how he thinks. Because I've said things that weren't, you know, delightful to them. So, but it's up to me to be honest. Well, and I, I don't care. I'll be honest about anybody. I don't care. I agree. Don't feed, listen, I'm good. I agree. But I was on the radio up there for four years, and they never told me what I could or could not say. And I would, I would trash the Patriots when I had to trash them. They never not let me in that building. But if I would ask the same question every day, and all I got was, I answered that. We're on to Cincinnati. I answered that. We're on to Cincinnati. What good is it? Well, I'll tell you what. If I was every coach in the NFL, I'd do the same thing then. Of course. I'm Todd Bowles, I'll do the same thing. I've said so, this. so, so then yes. what? So then yes, what? Totally. So, so then what's the use of having media if you're not going to be able to get anything? Absolutely. Answered? I've always said this. Somehow Bill Belichick has played the game better than anybody else. You don't have to answer questions unless you're a decent human being. No. Greg, Greg Popovich has done the same thing. He opens up sometimes, but he's the one bit. started. But yeah, 
But it, it, it's amazing. If you have complete job security and you're not going to get fired for being a jerk or the fans turning on you or the media turning on you, you might as well not answer any question. It does you no service because Belichick has shown that you don't have to answer anything. And as long as you win, yeah. you have a job for life. Well, winning doesn't last forever. Nobody, but, nobody goes on 20-year runs. Absolutely right. And that's why he was getting run out of Cleveland. I mean, that, you know, so I, I do wonder when they stop winning, Belichick's act is going to get real old. But I, it just depends on how long his leash is within that organization. So he was actually asked about Michael Floyd's video today about whether he had seen the video of the incident. And Belichick said, oh, yeah. yes, we were aware of the situation. He's an ongoing legal situation. I'm not going to comment. That's it. So, can, do you think that Michael, <laughs> you're just sipping your coffee like Kermit the Frog. Oh, I, forgot, I forgot I was on TV, man. <laughs> I'm, I'm, used to, I'm used to just letting you talk sometimes <laughs> and sipping my coffee. Do you think that he's going to play a factor in them trying to get to a Super Bowl? Maybe, maybe not. But also, um, whatever he serves, they own his rights now. So, you know, he is a talented football player and they can use him as a piece. Maybe somebody trade for him for a lesser piece. You get something back in return. You didn't. You didn't spend anything to get him.